Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's a brand new channel. Uh, it's going to be about smoking, grilling, barbecuing, all that good stuff. Uh, I've been grilling, barbecuing my whole life. Uh, just recently in the past, oh, I'd say two or three years, started getting into smoking. Uh, as you can see back here, that's just one of them. Uh, we'll get into that later. Uh, but that's what this is going to be about. I'm going to appreciate all the help I can get. As in, comments below, uh, subscribe, obviously, and you know all that, smash the like button, all that YouTube shindig, uh, but that's what this is going to be about, my very first video is going to be about a smoker slash grill slash rotisserie that my father-in-law made about 20, 25 years ago, and he can no longer do it, and he gave it to me a couple years ago for a Christmas present, because he knows it. I enjoy doing this stuff, so I'm going to be restoring that, and I'll walk you through this, uh, the restoration process. It's just about done. Got a few things I want to do to it, but she's just about there. And what I'll do is I'll throw some pictures in and some video, and I'll narrate over that. But just bear with me. Like I said, this is a new channel. I'm trying to learn everything about it, and I hope you enjoy, and away we go. Well, this is just a walk around, showing what the grill is. You can see that it's tremendously rusty, dirty, filthy. What it needs is a good power washing, scrubbing, wire brush, wire wheel. I mean, there's the rotisserie. It's got some vents on the side. There are the grates. All messed up, but they'll get clean. Yeah, like I said, she looks pretty filthy, and it was, but the power washing and the wire wheel made this thing look brand new. That thermometer up there, that thing is probably 20 years old, and I'm going to give you a little hint, it still is just as true as the day it came out of the box. And here it is with the wire wheel, and forgive the very, very shaky camera. That is my son. God bless his soul. Wanted to help, and he is not the sturdiest of cameramen. But he did a good job. As you can see here from the stills, that wire brush took all that rust off no holes whatsoever just the holes for the rotisserie rod obviously but nothing not even a pinhole in that thing that wire brush it took me for a ride a couple of times but it did an excellent job on it And here's the old power washing to it. Took everything out of the bottom. All the loose stuff, all the old rust, all the old burnt in wood that was still there, all the uh, everything that was on the bottom. That thing took it right off with no issues at all. 
got it so it looked excellent on the inside. Here's an up close of the power washing. You can see it's taking that top layer of rust right off. You are going to have some pitting. That's just a given because the barrel is so old. But absolutely no holes whatsoever. So there we go guys, uh, that's part one of the restoration of the smoker slash grill slash uh, rotisserie. Uh, I'm having a blast doing it, enjoying it thoroughly uh, because I already kind of know the end process of what it's going to be and what it's going to look like. Because like I said, almost there. I got just a few more things that I got to do and then it's going to be pretty much taken care of eventually down the road, I want to put it on the trailer, uh, get some wheels underneath it so I can just bring it to friends. I've already got friends coming up to me and messaging me and texting me, hey look, you got to bring it here, you got to bring it there. Uh, so that I'm going to look forward to. Uh, but that's the end of part one. Uh, that was basically just uh, taking off the surface rust, getting all that stuff taken care of, uh, getting the power wash into it, getting the inside cleaned out. The inside it was still good, yes it didn't look aesthetically pleasing, but it was still no rust holes, no nothing in there, just the dried on stuff that's been sitting for a while, uh, but overall it looked awesome uh, when it was all said and done with the rust taken off the inside, the great power washed and stripped. Uh, yeah, and that's about it for this part. Uh, like I said, just bear with me through this whole process. You're going to notice some of the videos aren't as good as the other ones, uh, but just bear with me. I'm going to get there. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this is because my son has been begging me for a long time. Dad, you got to do a YouTube channel. Dad, you got to do a cooking channel. You got to do this. You got to do that. So, to please him, uh, I'm doing this for him and my family, and I enjoy it too. I do. So, uh, with that said, uh, part two will be coming up shortly. Uh, I'm going to show the painting part of it. Uh, with all the rust gone. I've built a stand for it for now. There's some blocks underneath. Uh, that'll be coming up shortly. That'll be coming soon. Uh, so that's it for part one. I appreciate it. Give it a thumbs, a subscribe, like. If you don't like it, then don't like it. Hit the button now. So until we meet again, this is Big D Smokehouse.